This program was made possible by an educational grant from McNeil Consumer Products Company, makers of extra strength Tylenol. The Arthritis Foundation and the makers of extra strength Tylenol products are working together to help you live with arthritis and get the most out of life. We hope that this video will inspire you to make exercise part of your daily routine. Before beginning any exercise activity, discuss the program with your doctor. You'll need to make sure the exercise is safe and effective for you. The Arthritis Foundation commends the following program and encourages you to take advantage of any information that might help you enjoy the benefits of exercise. stop exercising because we get old, we get old because we stop exercising. We're not wearing out, we're rusting out. We've seen many people who have literally changed their lives as a result of going from being very sedentary to being physically active. Well, it just makes you feel a lot better, you've got a lot more energy. a pill that can do all the things that exercise can do. People would be standing in line to have this pill. I have arthritis in my knees and my hands, and I have a feeling that if I hadn't started an exercise program that I would have great difficulty getting around now. We used to run on the theory that if there was no pain, there was no gain. This is no longer true. If you don't exercise at least five or ten minutes every day, you can get all kinds of sicknesses and you grow old so much quicker. It's never too late to start an exercise program. It doesn't matter if you have exercised as I have all my life or if you have never exercised. Exercise benefits everyone at any age, whether you're 15 or 45 or 65 years of age. Getting started on a regular exercise program will result in major health benefits. Stop traffic, your fingers back. Socially, mentally, physically, you just feel like a brand new person instead of being in a convalescent home. Stretch your shoulders out in front, hold it, feel that. You can do more, you can feel more. You're a nicer person. It's fun to live instead of being a problem. There were a lot of myths about what older people could and couldn't do. And one of those myths is that as we grow older, at some age, we lose the ability to respond to exercise. What we've been able to show is that everyone at any age responds marvelously. And there is no single intervention that has the promise of keeping people independent and out of nursing homes uh, as an exercise program. Cycling Crusade from Cambridge to Boston, led by America's most famous bicyclist, Dr. Paul Dudley White, 72. Ike's heart specialist is joined by students. The medical profession has always been fairly conservative about exercise. And one of the first great pioneers, uh, Dr. Paul Dudley White, an avid cyclist, really uh, tried to convince uh, all of us uh, that in fact exercise would allow us to live fuller and richer lives and, and improve our health. Says Dr. White, America is getting soft, not enough exercise. 
That was proven by a study by Dr. Jeremy Morris in which he showed that conductors who were walking up and down flights of stairs on buses uh, lived longer than drivers. Men who are engaged in physically active work, like the conductors, with a fewer heart attacks than comparable men who are engaged in sedentary work, in light, physically light jobs, like the drivers. One and two. Our studies have shown that you don't have to be a high-level athlete in order to get a lot of health benefit from being active and fit. People just report feeling better. Their general well-being seems to improve as they become more physically active. You enjoy yourself as you're exercising. You use every part of your body. Dancing is a terrific activity. It's fun, so people will tend to do it. It's safe in terms of uh, possible injuries. And not only is it good for your heart, but it's a weight-bearing exercise, which for women is very important to help uh, strengthen their bones and uh, prevent osteoporosis. I think if anybody's going to start an exercise program, the ideal place to go is in some kind of a group program. We enjoy dancing, and it's a lot better than jogging around the field, that's for sure. As long as you just avoid inactivity, you can get benefit from exercise. For example, ballroom dancing or more active square dancing, get the heart rate up, and you can expect to get some benefits. artistic it's great because it's not like work like you know you actually work out it's just fun I walk eight tenths of a mile from one end of the mall to the other six times and I do it about six days a week it makes me feel terrific I love walking and it's very energetic and it's a good aerobic exercise Walking is a great activity. It's a great way for people to walk you around. It actually becomes a social thing. There's no curbs that you have to go up and down. You've got a straight walk, and that's how you should walk. And the atmosphere is it's nice. nice. Mm -hmm. And yes. the weather conditions are much better inside. <laughs> yeah. It's safer. So. Because that was a very good It makes you feel good, because I have a heart condition, so it's helping my heart. Now it's a little bit better since I've been walking. Cut a straw. Cut a straw. You can actually get some benefits of exercise by just making some very simple changes in your everyday activities. This would include walking to the store around the corner rather than hopping in your car. Walking is really the best exercise in the world. All your muscles work and you feel good afterwards. You have all that energy. Exercise. It strengthens your chest and also it gets in some shoulder work and also gets some tricep work, which is the muscle underneath your arm. As we age, the common activities that we do in our daily lives, such as getting up from a chair or picking up something that falls on the floor, uh, those require strength. All the way down. Excellent. All the way up. And all the way down. Now we're beginning to look more and more at the muscles as a, uh, a further clue to prolonging life and also uh, maintaining a higher level of life. When you extend the leg, you shorten this muscle. Even though it seems like it goes in the opposite direction, that's what's happening. And so when this shortens, go ahead and, and do a lift. When this shortens like this, the leg comes up. 
watch our senior citizens when they move around. Uh, the movements are very, very slow. What we're trying to do is we're trying to train these individuals so that those contractile speeds, that ability to move fast, is improved. If you had to get up out of a chair very, very slowly to where you had to force your way up very, very slowly out of the chair, this is very, very stressful, very difficult to do. However, if I allow you to sit in the chair and just tell you, go ahead and get up whatever way you like, you choose to get up like this. This is a power movement, a very, very fast movement. And since it is a very, very fast movement, it requires the muscle to contract quickly. That's what we're trying to train for, this fast contraction of the muscles. I could walk, I could talk, I could jump, I could bend. I'm here since November and I love it. Benny, are you ready for that cup of coffee? Okay. Yeah, all right, coming up. I've been a lot stronger. I feel better, and I don't have muscle pains in my legs or my arms. And I could bend down and get my coffee in my pots and pans a lot better than I did before. Well, you feel much better, though, right? Oh, much better. What exercise can do is it can increase muscle strength and therefore prevent disability. It can make disabled older people more functional. And really what the goal here is by making people more functional is to keep them independent. There's a big myth that exercise, in fact, may have some harmful effects, and, and that's simply not the case. When you exercise, your muscles experience some small microscopic amounts of damage. The, the muscle cells become stretched. And that is natural, and, and in fact, that's good because that's the stimulus to how muscles get bigger. So some muscle soreness is very natural part of exercise. But the more you do that particular exercise, the less you'll feel. If, in fact, you feel sore after every time you exercise, then you're pushing yourself too hard. I talk to people and they say, I want to start an exercise program, and immediately they're out, you know, if it, let's say it's a run. They're out and they decide, I'm going to start with five miles. Five miles is not where to start. The place to start is at a fraction of that and work your way up, and you won't have these negative feelings that cause people to say, I don't want to exercise anymore. This is not for me. <laughs> to push my hand away and straighten this leg out uh, just like the other. Push, push, push. That's excellent. I'm just checking for fluid here to see if you have an effusion. Osteoarthritis That's is the right. most common joint disease to affect mankind. It's the most common cause of chronic disability. It's a disease whose frequency increases with advancing age, and it's been reckoned that about a third of all people with osteoarthritis have significant pain and significant disability, at least intermittently. Down, two, three, up. One of the biggest changes in treating arthritis patients is that it's no longer a passive treatment. Now the patient is much more involved, and we are asking the patient to do exercises, not only when they see the therapist, but on their own and at home. <laughs> We use children's inflatable rings that we use for resistance. It takes strength on the part of the patient to be able to push it down through the water. Also, because the ring wants to rise back to the top again, there is some stretching that takes place. Now hold the ring in your hand and pull it back through the water. Claude originally started our class close to being in a wheelchair. He had great difficulty even getting down the three steps into the pool. I've been able to get around almost like I used to. It is absolutely the most wonderful thing that I've found since I got arthritis. For all patients with osteoarthritis, there are non-drug measures, such as exercises for strengthening muscles and improving range of motion. Exercise makes me feel better. I've noticed that when I do have pain, if I start exercising, the pain doesn't last as long. There are no studies in the scientific literature that indicate that exercise actually causes arthritis. 
Recent medical studies show that exercise can help relieve the pain commonly associated with osteoarthritis. And we see time after time, after six or eight or ten weeks of isometric exercises, patients with advanced uh, osteoarthritis being able to decrease their need for pain medication or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and in some cases, be able to dispense with those medicines entirely. Now, when I cross my legs, it doesn't look like exercise, but it actually is exercising both sets of muscles on the leg. The beauty of this exercise is you can do it anywhere. It doesn't take any time, and it takes no equipment. Yeah, yeah. Where were you before you started these like exercises? touching the tips of my tips. fingers. That's still pretty good, yeah. though, right? Okay. And your muscle tone's real good up here. What are you doing for that? Swimming. Doris is a terrific lady. She's a wonderful example of, of what I think everyone should be doing. She wanted to remain uh, cycling. She had some arthritic problems with her knees and then later on with her hips. We found that it was impossible to slow her down. I swim a mile three times a week. Exercise is a fountain of youth, and I think she's embraced this concept. I told Dr. Denubli if I rest, I rust. Arthritis doesn't like to stay still. You have to keep moving. You should try to get physical activity built into your life whenever and wherever you can. We know virtually for certain that individuals who lead an active way of life are less likely to develop many of the major chronic diseases. If it wasn't for tennis, I'd be sitting around uh, looking at TV. It makes me feel great. It invigorates me. I feel a uh, high level of energy. You want to check with the doctor, tell him the kind of program you're going to get into, and make sure that this is all right for your age or your physical condition. Bring those arms around with great big hugs. It is important to not just go out and exercise, but do a little bit of uh, preparation. Stretching and warm-up become very important to help to prevent injuries. After you exercise, don't just jump right into the shower. Do a little bit of stretching afterwards as well. Start gradually. Try adding a little more walking into your daily routine, like when you go to work. And when you go to the store, stop circling looking for that great parking spot. Park at the end of the lot. Those extra few steps can really add up. Just start wherever you are and just move and not have any grandiose goals except to get up and start moving. What? Just because you may have uh, some uh, problems such as an orthopedic condition, a low back problem, an arthritic knee, a sore shoulder, uh, does not mean that there's not an exercise program for you. Really what we're talking about is just some simple modifications of the standard programs that would fit your particular needs. It may seem obvious to you, but exercise is most enjoyable when you do it with family or friends. You'll support each other, and you'll look forward to doing it on a regular basis. For an exercise to work for you, it has to be fun. That's why I dance. It's so back there. You may not enjoy every type of exercise, but when you find one that really suits you, stick to it. That's when you really feel the benefits. And if you're looking for a good place to start, try your local Y. You feel good while you're doing it. After it's over, it feels much better, and the, the long-term benefits are, are what's so great about it. Your energy level's just higher. I have a lot more agility doing housework, gardening. I've got to go home and put my tomatoes in, in fact. That's where I'm off to.